This is Beth Schmidt, Christina House Program Manager. Uh, Beth, can you tell me what are the latest trends in domestic violence? Or what are you seeing? Um, actually, uh, I've been working in this field for probably around 17 years. And I can honestly say that the trends today are just the same as they were when I started working in 1994. And um, domestic violence is a crime. and um, the only real difference that I see, uh, when we first opened the shelter, um, we had a lot of victims that chose to come into shelter. Now, because I think a lot of it is because of the economic mm -hmm. situation that we have right now, we come into shelter as readily as they used to. Um, so that is a trend that to me is worrisome because if they um, came into shelter, they could receive a lot of uh, helpful information, referrals, uh, help from everyone that works here at the shelter as far as trying to start a life over without fear. And uh, that is bothersome to me. Absolutely. And, and you think they're not coming because of the economy they just mm -hmm. feel that right. they don't have any option but exactly because many calls that we get women you know that are calling uh, needing shelter many of them have heard through information they've received which has been this information that if they come to the shelter we will help them find a place to live where in fact we can't do that uh, we can refer them you know take them to fill out applications for housing but in Columbiana County, there is a shortage of low-income housing. There's no public transportation. Mm -hmm. And with the economy the way it is, it just makes it very difficult for a victim to leave and start over. A lot of obstacles. Mm -hmm. Well, what can people do to help stop domestic violence? Well, I think... You know, one of the themes for National Domestic Violence Awareness Month several years ago, and it's always a statement that I always say, domestic violence is your business. You know, many people feel that, you know, domestic violence is something that happens in the home, it happens in families, and it's none of their business and they don't need to be involved. But really, that needs to change. And I, I think it has to some extent. We see a lot more uh, police calls, a lot more women coming in to get protection orders. We just have the situation where women just are afraid to leave their situation. Even though it is a bad situation, it's a roof over their heads and a place for their children 